All right, welcome back. We are well rested, and we are ready to get out of this cave. We got the detonators that we came for. Um, where did we come from again? Oh yeah, up here. Can I go back out this way? I cannot. That is interesting. Oh yeah, the bolt cutters. I got. Okay, so you had to get the bolt cutters to get out of here. Okay, fair. Can't imagine I'm ever going to use those bolt cutters again for anything. But I will hang on to them until we leave the cave. I'll at least do that. Okay, so yeah, we go back here. Go back down into the uh, toxic gas floor below. Actually, we could go up to floor one. What am I saying? Never mind. We'll go up to first floor and we'll just leave. Now, me being the cheeky son of a bitch that I am. Soaked. I um, went ahead and looked up the combination to that forest talker cache because we've already discovered all the clues. Um, and I just want to see what's in there, so. Blech. I don't care. I have no shame. I don't think we're going to need that set of bolt cutters, though. I really don't. I don't see it happening. I'm not going to use this handle either, but I imagine it's just, it's not even technically in my inventory. Okay, so yeah, this is... The only reason why we needed bolt cutters was to get out of here. Alright, cool. Well, we know where we are now. I've walked down here twice before, and... and we turn around and go all the way back up. Falling apart. Oh, oh, this is right. Thought I got lost for a second there. And then, of course, on the way back, we get to deal with all the wolves like usual, and that'll be a pain in the ass. Uh, this way, Damn I believe. It. Up to my ankle. Maybe, no, maybe it was this way. Which way had the forest pocket cache? Was it this way? Yeah. I, I think it was this way. I hope it was. Now that I know, now that I know the combination... Um, no, it wasn't this way. Wasn't. Okay, so it was the other way. I hope. I'm not gonna spend forever looking for it, I'll tell you that. We'll just go. There can't be anything in there that's amazing compared to what I've already got. Cold water! Mackenzie, stop being a baby. It's cold water, you've got two pairs of socks on, and some hiking boots. A little wet. It's alright. Oh, it is here. Okay, good. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's right there. So she's going to call me now, and we're going to talk about how I need to not give them the detonator, I'm sure. So how did it all work out? Hello again. Well, I managed to sabotage the locking mechanism, but that won't change much. Math has found dynamite, and soon, thanks to me, he'll have detonators, too. He plans to blast through to solitary and get Donner out that way. Shit. Time for the nuclear option. But I thought you said you didn't have it. Relax, Mac. Figure of speech, right? What are you gonna do? We're out of time. I've been gone for too long. That was gonna be pissed. What? What did you say? Huh? Nothing. Just said we're running out of time. No. No, after that. Oh, right. Just my thesis advisor. She's the only reason I'm out here at all, Mackenzie. I'm a grad student, astrophysics. So? So? It just so happens that this part of Great Bear offers one of the best unoccluded zones. 
ideal for setting up certain sensitive instruments for my research, so that... I have to see her. You have to see my thesis advisor. You aren't making any sense, Mackenzie. It'll take too long to explain. We need to get out of here and get to Atwood as soon as possible. Oh, okay. How do you know about her? And what about Mathis? And Donner? If they make it out, there's a good chance they'll end up finding Atwood. And that's a big part of what I'm trying to prevent. Where is she? The Suzuki Radio Telescope. It's about 15 to 20 clicks from here. That's where I was headed when my car stopped working. I've been living there, doing research for months, alongside Dr. Atwood. Mackenzie, if the convicts find out about the radio telescope, it'll be bad. It's an old government facility, so there's all kinds of supplies there. Food, medical equipment, vehicles, radios. They could hunker down for weeks, months. It'd make a hell of a base of operations for all manner of evil shit they might get up to. They could prey on everyone within a hundred clicks. Black Rock is a fortress, but it's broken. It's been broken by the Aurora and everything that's going on right now. But what the hell is going on right now? I'm not 100% sure. But astrophysically speaking... Yeah? It's pretty messed up. Look, Suzuki is shielded. Due to the kind of work they do there, it's shielded from electromagnetic radiation. There's a good chance that all the shit that's been going on out here that it hasn't been affected in the same way. Which means? It means Suzuki may be the key. So, how do we get out of here and stop Mathis and Donner at the same time? Um, not sure. But I have an idea. Just buy me some time. I'll do what I can. Good luck to us both, Mackenzie. So here's the twist I'm gonna predict. Um. He's going to be like, oh, these lines are all one, one line I can hear. I've been listening in the whole time, blah, 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 I don't know. That'd be fucking hilarious, though, wouldn't it? If, like, Mathis was, like, fully aware of everything that we were saying. Because he's, like, tapped into the lines or something. Because it's like, oh, these are old lines. You can fucking this and that and hear everything everybody says. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just predicting. In fact, I'm probably wrong. I would hope that I'm wrong, because that would be a really cheap cop-out. Um, wait, can you just listen for it, or do you actually have to know it? What? How, how the frick do you, how do you normally work? A lock game. It's it's twelve. Yeah. What? It's 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 twelve. What? Twelve. Okay. What? That's not how a lock works. It's 12. I, why does it go left, left, right? Okay, whatever. Left, left, right. Got it. As stupid as that is. 12. 7. 18. Sorry. 18. That's not how locks work at all. Wow. All the work they put into the game and they got that wrong. That's fucking stupid. Uh, combat boots. Yeah, they're fucking heavy as shit, too. I bet. I mean, they're better, but good lord, look how much heavier they are. They're twice the weight. Uh, yeah. Too heavy. Sorry. We built a, out a way station of sorts at an old mine. Uh, I figure we'll get undisturbed. Potential energy to the place I can't describe. 
Uh, our hope with the mine is that since the mine is more modern, uh, we'll be able to scrap some valuable gear, high explosives. We cut them off from the mainland. Resilience is the only way to go for us. Dependence on the mainland support will only mean more ecological devastation. Yeah, these people were kind of like uh, hardcore, um, you know, hardcore survivalists, anti everything, basically. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Like they, they are the they make hippies look like, you know, crazy gas guzzling truck driving monsters. To just give you an idea. Oh, a rifle. Oh, eighty-six percent on this one. Ooh, that's actually better than the one I've got. Tell you what, actions. Unload. That's not what I meant to do. Five matches. So the revolver's loaded all the way. I just picked up two cases of that, and I still only have 25 shots. That's it? Mackenzie, can you not reload it while I look at stuff? Okay, so I've got 25 shots over. I could have sworn I picked up more than that. I guess not. And the revolver ammo, I've got 29 more shots of. Drop that. God, look at all this gunpowder. My lord. That's insane. Tell you what, let's refill the lantern and we're dropping this fuel because we don't need it. Oh, the lantern. The lantern. Yeah, it could use a little bit of fuel. Okay, we'll refill the lantern. And then we're not carrying all this fuel with us because it weighs a ton. Three pounds of gas, no thanks. Um, these will work perfectly as fire starters. If I even need five of them. And I don't even think it takes that many of them to start a fire. It's just like, you get like three uses out of each one to start a fire with. We'll pick out on these peaches too, because they weigh a pound each. We've still got 32 cattails. As usual, I think we are very over-equipped for everything. <clears throat> we scrounged too much. We stored too much. Alright, one more. There we go. I couldn't even eat it all. Well, whatever. We'll leave it behind. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah, and the bolt cutters. Alright, that did a pretty good job of getting us down below the threshold. That's good. Now, let's get out of here. <clears throat> and the sun's getting ready to go down. How great. Oh, shit. Oh. We're gonna go down, actually. Never mind. Never mind the sun. The mine went down. Oh, really? There's no going back that way. Oh, wow, look, it's the middle of the night now. Well, you know what? If I can get back in there, I think I'm gonna grab that lantern fuel for a little while longer, because I might need it. Depending on how long I have to run around in here. All right. yeah. uh, and I'm guessing this is blocked off. Oh no, it's not. This actually opened up. I wonder if this electricity will kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just go out this way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ooh, the aurora. I love it. It's very pretty.
I know I remember what my aim. Oh, F8. Okay, got it. What popped up there? What is that? What's that yellow thing that's always gonna pop up when I hit that? That's. Hang on. F8. Debug screenshot. No! Go away! <laughs> that's my screenshot button. Screenshot F9. Screenshot saved to desktop. Yeah, but Alt F9, I think, starts the recording, so does this... Does that actually save a screenshot to my desk? I guess we'll find out, but then I can't upload it to Steam, so why do I care? Alright, well, it's cold, and it's the middle of the night. We need to move. I need to change my Steam screenshot key, too, apparently, which I'll do that to being this episode, which is coming up in about five minutes. Hey, more climbing. I love it. So normally when the Aurora takes place, um, the game enjoys keeping you in, at midnight. So, like, time just doesn't pass. And I wonder if that's going to happen. It looks like it is. I don't think the moon's moving. Man, that's beautiful. That's fucking great. Yeah, look, you can see it in the screenshot down there, that little chunk of yellow in the top left corner of it. If the screenshot notification pops up in the video, that is. It's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna be in all of those. That's so annoying. I don't want to see that. The wolves will be very fun to mess with on this evening. Their eyes are gonna be all green and glowy. If we run into them at all, which I'm sure we will. God, look at all this beautiful screenshot opportunities, man. It's so freaking pretty. Mm. Ooh, a little bit of climbing. You know what? I will end it here. It's only an 18-minute episode, but I'm okay with that. And I'll bring you back in the next one. Thanks for watching.